said there might be a break from the pars distalis, or you might see the break here. But this, obviously, not as many slide uh, cells. Um, axons coming from the hypothalamus, forming basically the infundibulum. There are axon terminals coming down into the posterior pituitary, um, storing what two hormones? Antidiuretic Anti and uterine contractions? <laughs> Oxytocin. So it's, it looks very neural. There's not a whole lot of cells in there. So that's the posterior pituitary, um, the, um, the neuro hypothesis, because it's mostly neural tissue. <laughs> Some blood vessels, all right, which we would see. We've got, we've got a, um, port, uh, a the portal system, a capillary bed to a capillary bed. Now, over here, I'm sorry, I can't get smaller, but now we have the anterior pituitary, the adreno hypothesis, the gland, and these are all, if, you, if I go up higher, these are all packed cells, so that's the way to um, identify it. Loads and loads of cells. Now, we, um, we have different slides of the um, pituitary, but if you can, I always, I, I never would ask um, just the, uh, the anterior pituitary by itself. On the lab practical, I always make sure that you can see some of the anterior and some of the posterior. Because all I want you to identify is anterior from posterior. And then you'll have to know something about the hormones. Remember, there's six hormones in here that I want you to come up with a little saying so you're aware of what hormones are produced here. We already talked about the ones that are stored here. And the uh, uh, melanocyte stimulating hormones comes from the pars intermedia, part of the anterior pituitary. Any questions on that? <laughs>